Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome back to City Skylines, where in the Otterways, things are getting utterly out of control. There's garbage everywhere, because the trucks can't get in. Why? Because the trucks can't get in? Because of the enormous queue of people trying to move in. There is a garbage truck coming. There are several in the road, so they're going to be getting there and sorting themselves out. Um, but I get the impression it's going to be a bit busy while we have this enormous queue of traffic that goes all the way back to here, of people basically wanting to get into our new high-density residential district. So that's going to sort itself out over time, a bit by bit, <laughs> a bit by bit. Just checking if we've got any bus routes that are going to cause us problems. No. No, I was just wondering about one weighing this a little bit. Try and get the traffic flowing just that little bit better so you can go in that way and out that way. Rather than having to... The bus routes kind of obey that, so let's do that. Let's grab ourselves a one-way road. It really is just that light there, isn't it? Hmm. Playing with the boys. No idea where that one is. Yeah, we some problems kicking in with the garbage, but... Garbage is coming away as our garbage trucks make their way around. Some of them are filling up a bit quick. I think probably the solution would be to see is well is that damn thing? Where is that garbage truck? Yes, you are empty. Alright, what we can do is dash all the way back over here. Come back over here. Grab a Don't want to upgrade. Grab a road. Am I too high? Alright, apparently you can't do that one with that road. Grab a... Road at 90 degrees. Grab it that far. And then just plop down. A pair of incinerators. Now, to my knowledge, they will power themselves, but let's plow them into the grid so we can get the benefit from them. And they should spit out a merry long list of garbage trucks to join the queue over here. Which then settle in and start sorting out and getting involved in all the way over here. Now, when that does occur, the reason we're getting quite so much traffic, people dipping in and out, is because we don't have any commercial zone in this area. Oh. Probably not the best idea. So, let's take advantage of the fact that we have a section down here that it isn't that zone just yet. Strip out the residential zoning and put in. High-density commercial. Yeah, baby, look at those tower blocks going in. Mm. Ooh. Does connect. Good, good, good. Yeah. Can I undo? No. I have ruined one of my canals. I've hit, hit on the curvy bit as well. That's not going to end well. Deep canal. Bloip. Close <laughs> to the water. Do I have any power cables still plugged in? 
the one from over there. I hear that dinging. It's a gorgeous sound of upgradings going on. So, yeah, the Ottaway's all sorted itself out. Now we've got a load of uh, commercial buildings going in. There's really nice waterfront properties all the way over along on here. And we are rapidly approaching our next milestone. What is our next milestone? 28,000. Where we'll get car... Oh, we start shipping people. So this will probably be something we'd look at build doing a little bit of work on uh, over in the area over here. We'll probably start looking at maybe gut some of these roads... gut one of these roads out slightly and build a dedicated harbour in. So yeah, we'll probably build a commercial harbour. We'll probably stick right down in the centre over here, so it's right in the centre of it. And the industrial harbour. Oh, we have industrial demand. It's finally happened. We actually have industrial demand. Woo and yay. Woo and yay. The donkey mines can actually start to grow. Which reminds me, we should um, probably extend them so they actually come out to this area. So we will be working on this later on. But yes, for now, you are labelled as that. So I will grab my unpleasant looking industrial roads. We will start by adding more industry. Right. Time to zone. Give me the big paintbrush. No, I didn't want to zone on there. I remember explicitly saying that I didn't want to. Can I just paintbrush? Yes, I can, but not neatly as I would like to disappoint. So let me just grab this in and tuck it out. And then I can switch back to the paintbrush. Industrial demise slowly going to tick up and tick down, tick up and tick down, tick up and tick down. Glad that's working quite well. I wonder if we're going to need another one at some point. Mm. Operating normally. Really nice when we get some bit more statistics on how busy you actually are. Kind of weird that it crosses over like that and they come in and then come out again. So. Doesn't appear to be too jammed up. That's our passenger terminus doing. 79 passengers. <laughs> Building on fire. Buses are servicing it. Is there a fire truck going to come up time anytime soon? Do we really have that bad a traffic problem in this little town? Yay, there you arrive. At last. Fine. Yes, yeah, so auto bulldozers will take care of that for me. I have a big fire station in the, in this town somewhere, don't I? Four or twenty-five. So yeah, it's not like I have a lack of fire engines, so we should be all right. So everything is kind of ticking along nicely. The industries are all coming in. So. Yep, okay, I think we can probably safe. Yes, go away, I don't want to buy new land. We are probably safe in zoning a little bit more land. Yep, 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 Give me the paint bucket tool. Paint, 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 pa
paint, 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 paint. Yay, industrial demand is good. The city is growing and is beginning to become healthy. No, oh, still complaining about workers overeducated. Yeah, apparently I did too good a job educating my workers. Now I have a problem with that. I don't have enough stupid people to do all the manual jobs. Fortunately, I built an enormous great big high density district over here. Ooh, max rank already. Oh, nearly max rank. Yep, I think probably the next model will be looking at installing something that gives me more information on all these buildings. Yay! It's harbour time! That means this episode is going to be about harbours. We have a million and a bit in terms of cash. So, let's push the button that gives us public transport. Harbours. Can't quite build the one of the cargo hub yet. That'll be later than that much. But it can be with cargo hub so we can start getting goods from overseas. And shipping goes out from overseas. This will be something I will be connecting into the industrial area, possibly other things. So I might be a dedicated roadway for that one. But cargo harbour. Space already occupied by what? So where's the... You come in from over there. Okay. Ooh, hang on a sec. I saw you ever so briefly flash green. Why did you flash green? Space already occupied. Yeah, it's annoying because it comes with its own partial little bit of road. You can't quite get it to go exactly where you want it to go. You can't you can't just have it stick onto an existing road. You've got to have its own little bit of road. So if I apparently there is a spot slightly out to see about there. Quick. There we go. That's our cargo harbour terminal. And now we need to plug it into the road network, apparently. We'll plug it in like that. I will then get that bus route. And I will drag that bus route to there, so that it stops directly outside. And then I will grab that bus route put it there, so that it stops directly outside on the other way. And voila! A cargo ship terminal. And this will bring in tourists! Passengers. Passenger tourists. Tourists by passengers. Dumping them directly into the tourist trap, which is what we want. So hopefully they will find, you know, space to do. Look at all this, le this uh, commercial district all neatly populated and Whinging that uh, they don't have enough customers. Yes, well, I'm sure we'll get more on this sorted out. Ooh, that reminds me. Taxis in use. Yes, garbage, 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 garbage. You. Stop emptying and move. Hey, I can finally stick you somewhere else. Get you out of town. Where do I want to put you? I think I want to put you anywhere. I think I'm going to just outright destroy you. And... Zone the gap is commercial. Just a little bit more commercial. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more commercial. So we still have an enormous traffic problem. Um, let's turn the speed all the way back up again. Um, I wonder if I can. It will it let me upgrade that to a six lane. That will help just a little bit. Just to fill the traffic out a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, change lane arrows. Uh, yeah, have both options on the middle lane. Yeah, that will sort themselves out so you've got a little bit more space. It is just going to be a busy district because I've got an awful lot of people coming back and forth. I think once we've also started developing this area over here, because we've got, what, two great big squares filled now, we're going to start needing to be putting the metro in. Nice big complicated metro system will really help um, get some cars off the road. Oh dear. Hmm. 
So this is annoying, because this is the one <laughs> of all the roads that I can't necessarily upgrade. It's that one down the middle there. You're all just swinging around and heading into town, aren't you? Yeah. I think it's interesting is that an idea it was just to have that simple road going in and out. Hmm. I do have my concerns that it's simply just not, not enough ways of getting the traffic out, in and out of the city. Or in and out of this area. I shouldn't be playing with this, I should be playing with cargo hubs. Yep, that's a pretty awful turn. <laughs> but you never know, it might divert some of the traffic away. For the same token. Give you an option for getting out of the city just a little bit quicker. Yep, yeah, that'll do for now. So, cargo hub. Cargo hub. I don't know if we have any. Look, there's a boat. There's a boot. There's a boot to boot. Quite a lot of river delta this. Garbage is piled up. Isn't that fun? I mean, if I do it, what's my... Incineration status is absolutely fine. Running out of elementary school and high school status and electricity is a problem. And my incineration, is, 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 incineration status is a problem. Alright, so we've got lots of problems. Let's um, see what we can do about getting a cargo terminal in. Um, nothing else, because I think that will just help with our ability to move goods in and out of the city just that little bit. So let's put that in, make that the focus of the episode, and then we'll worry about it later on, we'll worry about solving some of the other problems we've acquired through my rapid expansion. Cannot connect to root. To city limits. Cannot connect to root. So the boat comes into there. So the ideal place to put it would be over here, where I have put my wind farms. Joy. I really don't want to stick it on over here. It's an absolute traffic nightmare. It would be the be all and end all of problems. I don't want to waste time buying a square over there. Mm hmm. Okay, looks like we're doing something slightly aggressive. All right, I didn't think it was only actually desperately important on that lot. A lot. Let's go back and grab that road. Line. Grand. Okay, so what was also missing over here was the little 
Like Rose. Oh, hush you. Quiet. Did you not see I was planning? Well, it looks like we'll be doing a cargo, ha cargo harbour next episode. But the basic idea is we're going to put it in over here and then route an underground or an overround tunnel to get it into place. Great, am I going to rebuild this entire line? It's weird when it kind of breaks midpoint and I can't just go... Why will you not connect up? It's kind of annoying. Let's drag you. There. And drag you. Really? You're not gonna. Fine. That is frustrating. Alright, I will fix the, uh, bus stops in between episodes. Thank you very much for watching Esmodel, where we, I did my usual thing, where I faffed slightly, and then rearranged, then made drastic changes, and then ran out of time. I've been the Marmoset, this has been Animalia, we've got traffic problems, but it's a big city, without any public, without major public transport underground. So, we'll see. Please remember to like and subscribe.